After last class, uh, I went to grab this and scan it, and uh, boy, it was a close call because I want to just let you know and make sure you understand how easily something can be, uh, you know, damaged. Uh, this is one of the problems. I haven't had this happen in many years, but because of light again, I can go ahead and tell. Look at the look at the uh, the uh, crinkles in this paper. And that's because I, I grabbed this, I had it next to me, safe, and I dropped my phone. And my immediate reaction was to catch my phone. And so I smashed this up against my, my leg. And you can see, even in here, I had to repair that. Uh, you know, and I was fortunate enough to be able to push it back out. And, uh, and sometimes, uh, you know, you, you may not have a stylus or something like that. But sometimes you can go ahead and use like the back of the pencil, you know, our graphite pencils, because it is rounded. As long as you don't get it up on the corner and you can just gently push to go ahead and get that back out again. Uh, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and take one right now just to kind of demonstrate that because you may need to have that at some point. So now I can see and you can tell why it's so important for us not to score our paper to bend it or whatever, because you never know where it's going to be uh, in the on the wall or where you're going to have it on display, and you can end up by having a uh, a part that is catching the light on one side, just like it's this little hills and valleys. It's almost like a giant texture uh, on this paper. But you can see I am subduing it a little bit. I'm holding this. I want to be very careful and test it and I want to be able to support this. It's not all the way down and I can just suspend it enough. I can I can see and feel that I'm reversing out that wrinkle. And I just wanted to let you know that because sometimes you can save something. If it was in here, you'd have to, you know, maybe make some extra work and you wouldn't want to touch this too much because already as we're working on this, I am realizing that I refine this, I put all my blue in there, and, and a little while later, I'm actually seeing uh, variations in there again. And places that I want to be able to keep uh, smooth are not that way. Uh, and because this is being picked up by the paper, maybe the reference, if I just touch this, it's just, it's so easy to go ahead and fill in a gap. I just have to just touch this and yet touching it with a piece of paper to protect from your hand, all kinds of things. You just want to be very careful that you're not moving it. You're not trying to go ahead and, and uh, you know, position it in a different place without realizing that you could very well, uh, you know, have this become uh, uh, transferred onto the paper or onto your reference. So even an edge, I want you to just be aware of that. Uh, and, and it really saves uh, your, you know, your drawings and your work by being able to know a few things like that that allow you to be able to uh, recover. Uh, you can also obviously take color off and put it back on. We already know that. And so it's really a good thing to know that you can have a few options. You just don't want to get drastic. You want to be very careful and gentle when you start on some of these things.